Don't come in like a bull through the fence next time, you old fool. Your friend here managed to get it right. Lightning Maggie Fike. We all thought you were dead. Yeah, so did I. Guess you'll be wanting a drink. Oh, come yeah. on, give me a hand. Biggest mistake of my life, not marrying this woman when I had the chance. Yeah, you always did have a colorful memory of things. <laughs> anyway, it's too late now. As you can see, I have gone and hit my prime. Well, I heard what happened with Hickson. Oh. Evil son of a bitch. Where you, uh, where you been all this time? Recovering. Lying low. Couldn't barely get out of bed for six months. And your nephew? Them. Still in jail, as far as I know. Uh, you seen Danny Lee yet? Oh, yeah, I've seen him. Cooking for the Braithwaites now. Guess me and him were done. Well, there's always Marcel. Heard he's not working for Leclerc anymore. Feller's a windbag, but he knows his way around the still. Yeah, maybe. Feels like it'd be much easier for everyone if I just stayed gone. Mm. But life ain't about being easy. I am taking back what's mm. mine. Mm. I need legs, though, and I need muscle. Oh, you'll get that one, this one, and more, I promise you. Two of us already got a nice little business going. Long as you know, it won't be pretty. I don't do pretty no more. So, uh, what's the buy-in? First things first, I need a cookhouse. What's wrong with this place? Been empty for a while now. No, I need a good basement. I reckon I could try and get one of my old spots back up and running. Bastards seized them all after the raid. You buy me back one of those. I reckon you'll have a fair enough investment. Teach you everything I know. So what you say? Uh, believe me, nobody knows more about moonshine than Maggie. Listen to her. You'll make that back in no time. Come on, the two of you were made for each other. All right then, partners it is. You meet me back there when you can, we'll work out what else it is we need when we get set up. Uh, can I offer you a ride, Miss Fike? Suppose so. Well, maybe we can stop for a drink on the way. We just had a drink. <laughs> I know, now I want another one. Some things don't change. And the preacher ain't long for this world. Yeah, so I heard. <laughs> okay, well. My nephew Lamb's still in jail, and Danny Lee and Braithwaite are still taking our customers. You let me know when you're ready to make a move. We shouldn't sit on this too long.
Okay then. We're gonna need supplies and equipment. So we can set up the still and get started with production. We could buy all this, of course, but why would we do that when we can just borrow it permanently from some of the other moonshiners around here and <laughs> kill two birds with one stone? Time to show these folks that Maggie's back. Back for good.
Well, next on the list is a cook. Can't do much without that. Since Danny Lee sold his soul to the Braithwaites, we've been courting a feller called Marcel. Friend of Cripps used to work as a chef for Jessica Leclerc. But he comes from a long line of French distillers. Seems to know what he's doing. Problem is, another alpha got wind of this and grabbed him. So, let's see some of that muscle Cripps promised me. Madame Faker, huh? I do it. Let's go. me and I knew that if someone came it would be Madame Viker. You know her well. She and I have a history uh, you could say. Well, a friend of hers is a friend of mine. Did Madame Viker tell something about me before she asked you to save my life? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Marcel. I was until recently employed by a lady named Madame Leclerc. Perhaps you know her. Until I was kidnapped, that is. They wanted me for my skills as a brasseur. One who makes a eau de vie. A moonshine, yes? Wait a minute. I thought you looked familiar. You came to visit Madame Leclerc once with uh, Orly, yes? Oh! You look different now. Your situation has improved, no? I wish I could say the same for myself.
of Madame Fiker's old hideaways, I see. I have some uh, fond memories here. Excellent. Now, where is Madame Fiker? We have much to discuss. Happy to say, we are officially in business. <laughs> Alizy, I will show you the engine room. <laughs> Thank you for your intervention the other day. I was turning into a rather unpleasant experience. <laughs> so here we are. Nice and private. <laughs> for obvious reasons, huh? There she is. Uh, our still. A beauty, huh? Since I've been told that you are new in the business, I was thinking you might need some friendly mentorship. Illicit distillation is a very unique pursuit. Ah, but what is most important are the ingredients for the mash. The more successful the business is, the better the price we can negotiate for those ingredients. Just as we will, the more unsuccessful our competitors are. But that side of things is more the area of expertise of Madame Fike. Anyway, some of our buyers are very exacting when it comes to tastes and flavors. So we will need to adjust our recipes to the demand of our time. Attention! A stronger alcohol sells for more, as you can imagine. But it also takes longer to produce. So that is something else we will need to uh, balance, huh? Well, that's enough for now. Let's get to work. I have a feeling you are going to learn fast.
My nephew Lamb's still in jail, and Danny Lee and Braithwaite are still taking our customers. You let me know when you're ready to make a move. We shouldn't sit on this too long. Marcel, remember to clean out that steel every time! Anyone would think you don't have any work to do. You okay there? What's wrong? Why you hang around like a bad smell? Too sharp. Stick to the damn recipe, Marcel!
nothing in this business ever comes easy. Should have learned that by now. Sugar, Marcel. How many times? Do you need something? I mustn't forget to reload my cane. Not bad. How can I help? All right, this is gonna be fun. thinking the same things. Few improvements wouldn't hurt. Sometime today would be nice.
Merci. Ah, oh, thank you for coming to rescue me, huh? We shall make some good bottles with Maggie, yes? Goodbye. Living out here, it reminds me of that freedom my uncle used to talk about. I got a lead on my nephew, Lem. He's been in county jail since the raid, but I got word he's about to be moved to high security at Sisica. Interesting timing, wouldn't you say? Just as I get off my deathbed? Still, probably our only chance to get him out. Now, the reason I heard is the law is moving another feller down to Sisica tomorrow. Weasley money launderer by the name of Stan Reardon. And we'll be transferring him onto Lem's convoy at some point on the route. I digress. I don't give a damn about Reardon. But if you can track down those lawmen, find out where the transfer's taking place, hopefully you can get the jump on them. Just stay sharp. You did good with Marcel. Get me Lem, too. You'll be well on your way to proving yourself.
of the transfer document in the lockbox. Objective to business, right?
you getting me out of here? in here Do I know you? What's happening? I, I mean, thanks stranger, but why are you doing this? She is alive. Oh, thank God. Am I glad to see you? Move in, man. Take him down. No. It's revenue, man. The bastards must have been tailing us. What the hell? <laughs>
Fucker's insane. We need to get the hell out of here before anyone else decides to show up. So, what's the plan now? Y you got transport, or we on foot? Don't quit! Mount up! Might be more of them coming. I'm ready. Let's go. That's a fine looking animal you got there. All right, then. Can you take me wherever my aunt is? Well, this sure wasn't how I thought today was going to turn out. Aunt Maggie. <laughs> I don't believe it. I mean, part of me always held some hope, and there'd been rumors. That's why they decided to move me to Sisica. Figured if she was alive, it might be the one thing to draw her in. Guess they were right. <laughs> Problem is, they always did underestimate Aunt Maggie. Tough don't even begin to describe her. But as you probably know this already. She controlled the moonshine business in Lemoyne for years. Till the government sent in that bastard Reed Hickson. Most ruthless feller I ever crossed paths with. He doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't curse, but he is pure evil. The other revenuers we could handle, but once Hickson was after us, we just couldn't get off the back foot. Kept moving from place to place, but it was only a matter of time before he caught up with us at one of the cookhouses. Still makes me shiver just remembering it. They trussed her up, blew up the still, and threw her inside there to fry. I couldn't do nothing but watch as they held me back. The flames just kept getting higher. Whole place started caving in. I swear, it's the only time I ever seen Hickson smile. Burning a woman alive. Probably got a medal for her, too. Last thing I see is they're dragging me away. Danny Lee, hiding in the trees, just looking on. In jail, I heard they tried for months to hunt him down, but he must have found some protection. Always did have a knack of slithering his way into holes, that snake. Aunt Maggie! You're late. Aunt Maggie, I can't believe it. Oh, I don't die so easy. I, I didn't know if you were... I know, but we're here now, and I am going to make it right. All of it. Le mon ami! <laughs> are you okay? Marcel? <laughs> oui, c'est moi! What are you doing here? Oh, how charming. Lots oh. changed, Lem. Can I get you some soup or... Perhaps something stronger, huh? Marcel, put him in my room for now. But of course. Come on, then. I miss this old place. Get some sleep. We got a lot of catching up to do. Thank you for this. He's a dope sometimes, but he has all I got. Go down and grab yourself a drink. I'll make sure you get an extra cut out of my side of the business. You've earned it. What are you waiting for? The rest you can remove yourself. <laughs> 